Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you enjoy this video, please open our tattoo parlor and regardless of what any of your clients ask for, just tattoo my logo instead, as this would really help spread the good word of my channel. So COD is back this year, but instead of jetpacks, futuristic weapons and annoying unloved kids, it's boots on the ground action, contemporary weapons and well, yeah, still annoying unloved kids. Anyway, I love the message Modern Warfare is trying to spread that violence and war aren't always bad things and that sometimes they can even be a hell of a lot of fun. So without further delay, here are the nine types of modern warfare players you are likely to come across while playing. The first type is the dirty corner camper. These guys can be found lurking in the dark corners of rooms ready to surprise you like they were the stepbrother in a Brazzers film. This tactic is the equivalent of wearing socks and sandals as it signifies the player has simply given up all hope. It's a common strategy amongst noobs who lack the necessary fine motor skills to compete against the Adderall snorting sweat lords, and so instead they find a nice warm corner and proceed to camp their little dicks off. The OJ Simpson doesn't care for fancy guns, but instead prefers to project his built up insecurities by stabbing people with a combat knife, and hey, at least politicians can't accuse video games of turning this guy into a mass shooter. There is something satisfying about getting up close and personal though, as while you're ending an enemy's pathetic little virtual life, you can whisper in their ear some classic online gaming insults such as, your trash kid, tell your mum the money is on the dresser. Suggesting that another gamer's mother is a prostitute is the quickest way to both assert your dominance and flex your highly analytical mind. The sniper everyone hates is a real show pony who's more concerned with making it on Kevin's top 10 plays of the week than actually helping the team win. It's a real paradox though, as often sniping is quite a bit harder than just spraying people down with an M4 assault rifle, but despite me reluctantly accepting that hitting a dank quickscope takes some skill, you're still a real motherfucker. Captain Clutch is the guy you can always rely upon in those tense moments. Like call this Malacca a sponge because he soaks up pressure for laughs. Sometimes my whole team dies and it's all on me to clutch the round, and I swear you'd think I was about to compete for a gold medal at the god damn Olympics, not slay a few 12 year olds in an online casual video game. My heart rate picks up and my palms get sweaty as I know that if I can pull off an amazing play and win the round, then for like the 7 seconds after the game is over, everyone will be like, wow pretty good job man, and that's the kind of online validation from strangers that I need to get me through the day. The spawn kill victim is like every journalist in 2019 always complaining about being attacked, but in this case, they actually are being attacked by missiles and machine guns and shit. Someone didn't just forget that they now sexually identify as Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. For real, being spawn killed is never fun, but we all have to pay our dues and one day it'll be you up there in that chopper gunner raining down bullets from above, as you laugh at just how helpless the poor little noobs you are metaphorically molesting are. The 2v2 Sweatlord. This year's edition of Let's Make War Fun Again brought with it the extremely sweaty 2v2 game mode creatively called Gunfight because you fight with guns, it's genius. These guys either jump into matchmaking and verse other random sweaty malakas, or even better, jump into a custom game with some friends. My mates and I were all in the same voice chat while we played, and with all the camping and cheap tactics being used, you should have heard the abuse being yelled. It was both highly concerning and beautiful. The toxic kid is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, every game has toxic kids, but Call of Duty has earned the reputation of having some of the most toxic children out there. It's literally a daycare center for troubled kids with ADHD and psychotic tendencies. It's almost as if parents who are just too tired and worn out from raising their little disappointment of a child just gave up and bought them a console and a copy of COD and said go nuts. Oh well, an Xbox is still cheaper than an abortion. The Battlefield Immigrant heard that Modern Warfare was including a larger scale game mode called Ground War and thought well spank my ass and call me Captain Price, maybe I'll switch over to COD. These guys were trying to seek greener pastures, but despite Ground War being on bigger maps, it is still just a glorious fast paced orgy of Twitch shooting and multi kills, not the slower paced methodical warfare Battlefield players might be used to. I for one think it's great the games are different, but what do I know? I'm just an Australian 
pelican with an above average sized beak. The cod and vagine is the girl gamer who you'll find out there fragging enemies. It's pretty easy to tell who the virgins are when a girl gamer enters the lobby as whoever starts yelling, oh my god girl, oh my god girl, oh my god girl, wow 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 wow, is clearly a mature man who has had many amazing sexual experiences. Also here's my highly investigative review of the game, it's fun. That's all from YouTube's number one voted educational Christian music content creator me. Thanks for watching you absolute legends and a massive thanks to those of you who support the channel through Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy.